What's going on everybody? This is Mike with Manly Stuff with King Size. Today we're gonna to be making some world's best French toast and buttermilk syrup. Oh, so good. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what we're gonna to do to make this uh, French toast is we're gonna use some eggs, we're gonna use some half and half, some vanilla, some malted milk, a little bit of sugar, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. Awesome. And we are gonna be using some of this Pepperidge Farm cinnamon swirl bread. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenally amazing. All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna crack some eggs, get this bubba going. About that much, probably about a tablespoon. Um, some nutmeg, tablespoon of nutmeg, make sure it's all full. Pop that in there. A couple tablespoons of cinnamon, heaping one like that, another one like that. All right, now we're gonna do malted milk. We're probably going to put about a quarter to a half a cup of malted milk in here. About right, right there. And then we'll do about a, a quarter cup of sugar as well. I'm just eyeballing this, so. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put about a, a half a cup of half and half in. Put about another uh, quarter to a half a cup of milk in. Now what you want to do? Whoop. Now what you want to do is get your wire whisk in there and whisk it all up. That was so good, y'all. All right, we're gonna let that sit. For the buttermilk syrup, we're gonna use buttermilk, obviously, and butter and sugar. So, in the description below, I'm gonna have the recipe for both of these so you can make them. So, what we wanna do is turn the pan on, up in the, the two cubes of butter. A cup of buttermilk. Actually, we'll do two cups. Two cups of sugar. All right, y'all, you want to make sure that you stir this so that the sugar doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, otherwise you're gonna have a stinky burn mess. So, we'll let that sit here for a second boil up. Let's get started on this French toast while that syrup's cooking up. Alright, I'm just going to spray the pan here real quick so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to grab our cinnamon swirl bread. Put that on there. Those cook up here. I'm gonna stir the syrup up here a little bit. I, I like to cook my stuff on an electric griddle when I'm doing like pancakes and fresh toast. Uh, I typically set it at about 300 degrees so that way it's not too hot and they don't cook too slow. 
So, but these look like they're cooking perfect, like that. I like mine a little on the lighter side. Once again, if you guys like what you're seeing, like everything I'm doing, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below on this side and smash that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna hear, what you wanna see, what you wanna hear about, what you wanna learn. So we got all the butter melted and the buttermilk syrup. So what we're gonna do now <clears throat> is we're gonna um, add one teaspoon of baking soda Pop that in there and then we're gonna do about two teaspoons of vanilla or a tablespoon I like a tablespoon tastes better then what we're gonna do is you want to mix in that, that baking soda you can see it all start to foam up So we'll let that sit there for a second. And you can kind of see where the, the soda still is. So if you taste it now, it's gonna be a little salty, but I want to taste right over here. All right, let's taste this out. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's perfect. All right, so. We're gonna let that sit there for two quick seconds. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take these. And max the dog over there. All right, so take some of this buttermilk syrup. Put it on there. All right, y'all. This is gonna be good. Mmm. That was amazing, y'all. All right, well, appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, hit that subscribe button down there. Ring the little bell for notifications and hit the like button. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, we're gone.